And these times are, you know, are being attacked from every angle. Um, you know, injections, um, shortage of food, shortage of plastic, shortage of bags, um, you know, people in office. There's a lot of things hitting me. That's why it's very important for you guys to get with me, DM me, get you that package, get you the, if you can't afford the package, get you little certain things to protect your family, like a uh, exemption form for your family, you and your kids. It's worded right, it's worded diplomatic, and it will work. Get it notarized. So today we're going to talk about the fact of why you are being hunted. Why are you being hunted? Well, you're being hunted because you have a substance in you, which is very important of very indescribable high value. That thing in you is called melanin. That's right. The melanin in you. You know, it's very important. People say, well, why is it so important? I mean, if it wasn't that important, you wouldn't see melatonin pills being sold. You're going to see VS, you'll see a whole line of the melatonin pills, different variations of it. Um, you know, and it's most concentrated in, in, you know, people of color, people from, you know, of, of darkness, which brings me to the land of child murders, okay? You know, this was a while ago as your parent, the Atlanta child murders. What they didn't tell you about the Atlanta child murders is that these kids that were found were all found with their penis heads cut off, right? And their pituitary gland surgically removed. That's surgically removed, not Anybody can do it. No, surgically professional. You say, Doc, why the penis head and the pituitary gland? Well, these are the most concentrated areas of the melanin. Facts. They didn't tell you that. You can look back at the uh, transcripts of the Atlanta Job murders. This was surgically removed. So this melanin is needed and being sold at a high price. You know, Bobby Hemmett once said, you know, they tried to get some melanin in from uh, cows because everything has melanin in it. And the cows is only producing so very little. So very little. So you would need You would need basically. You would need about a thousand cows to produce some melanin. Any melanin worth selling. You would need a thousand cows, so it wasn't worth it. So they found other ways to extract this melanin from people. Institutions, jails, deaths, black-on-black uh, -black crimes, um, psychological warfare, stuff like this, you know, where they can extract this melanin at a higher rate because it's needed. The substance that is found in you is needed. Okay? So, Christopher Columbus started slave trading at the age of 14. Okay? When the Euros started doing their pilgrimage around the globe, what was they finding? They were finding black people everywhere. Everywhere they went, they was finding black people, people of color. Till this day, there's black people all over the globe. There's nowhere you can go and not find a black person. So, 
you know, they said, wow, these people are everywhere. These people are everywhere. We can't escape them. They also had sex with the women of color and seen that their babies were coming out color or black. Then the thought came, we have to do something about this or we will be screwed out of existence. You know, so this is the white genetics uh, survival. It's not so much of the hate, like, you know, they don't fear you or care about you enough in that term. It's about the genetic survival. Okay? Get a cup of white paint, drop any color in there. After a while, what does that, that paint turn into? That's right. So that's how they're thinking also. So we have to, you know, make sure we're not falling for these traps. Make sure we're not getting caught up with these easy bait traps. You know, got to make sure that. So here in Delaware, you know, um, you need to look up, you know, you need to look up your protocols for police um, relating to the use of force. Um, Jersey, I believe, Jersey's police are justified in shooting if the suspect or criminal flees. Yeah. If the criminal runs, runs off, the officers have a right to shoot. It is up to the officer, but it is justifiable. And remember, the officers are trained not to stop until that person or perpetrator is down. They're trained to hit until the person is down. Not to hit one time and stop, but to hit until the person is down. And if you look on their target practices, it's all center mass. There's no arms, no leg shots. It's center mass. Right? So the Delaware um, Assembly, you know, Section 1, Amendment 464, Title 11, Delaware Code of Making Delations as shown by strike through insertions as soon as underlying following. Justification, use of force, and self-protection. This use of force upon toward another person is justifiable when the defendant, which would be the police officer, reasonably believes that the force is immediately necessary for the purpose of protecting the defendant against the use of unlawful, unlawful force by the other person or the occasion that they're in. So, that's why it's important if you and your old lady are arguing not to do it outside. You know, for your lady not to call the police on you. Telling the officer what happened on your side, that's not the right time to do it at the scene. Never explain yourself at the scene. Except as otherwise provided and E, of this section, a person employed protective force may estimate the necessity, necessity, therefore, under the circumstances as a person reasonably believes them to be when the force is used without retreating, surrendering possession, doing any other act which a person has no legal duty to do so, obtaining from a lawful action. Now, keep in mind, lawful and legal are two different meanings. Two different meanings. And I am not a legal advisor. Okay, this is just research, research purposes only. So, you know, Jersey has the right to shoot you if you run off. If you're scared and you run off, they can they can put you down. Delaware, as you see, the use of deadly force is justifiable if the defendant reasonably believes that such force is necessary to protect the defendant against death, serious injury, kidnapping, sexual intercourse, 
and compelled by force of threat. So they can make their own decision to apply this force. That's why when you come in contact with these officers, when you pull it over, make sure, you, especially if you have tenant windows, make sure you put all the tents down. Put all the windows down. Turn on the lights. Hands on the wheel. You should already have your ID and stuff out so you don't got to reach. Put it on your, 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 your lap, not back here in your pocket. How you doing, officer? Hands on the wheel. This makes the officer feel safe. You know, you're already confirming that you're not a threat. Are the windows going down? By the lights being on? If your hand's on the wheel, you can't be about to harm me. The officer's looking at your hands. So they're saying, hey, you can't harm me. Your hands are on the wheel. You're making eye contact with me. Okay. Cars turned off, so you they can't say, oh, I thought you was going to flee. I thought you was going to leave the scene. I turned the car off. Lights was on. Hands was on the wheel. Speaking loud and clearly. Windows all down. You don't leave them room to guesstimate or guess if you're reaching for something. You're going to gamble your life with these people or not shooting you because you, you sounded nice. You going to gamble that? <laughs> people can have bad days. People can have bad days. Don't put yourself at risk. Yes, you have a right to travel. Yes, you, 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 they don't have to ask you where you're going. You know? But getting loud and yo, talking like that, it's not the right time to do it. You're putting yourself at risk. You want to make sure that the confrontation with these policemen can avoid harm to you at all costs. You got to get back home. So do the steps that I'm providing you in this video. Don't take my word for these things that I provided you. Research yourself. Look up the Atlanta child murders. Look up when Christopher Columbus started slave trading. Look up the use of excessive 